Welcome to Growing Wisdom and our topic today is the ever popular daylily and daylilies run the gamut from the reds to the purples to the pinks to the yellows. Some will repeat bloom. Some, if you cut them back, they will come back and continue to bloom throughout the summer. Others only get one bloom. So you want to check before you buy them to see if they're repeat bloomers. They tend to really like a lot of sun. There will be varieties that can take a little bit of shade, but the more sun you give them, it tends to be a little bit better bloomer. And the other great thing about daylilies is just wait a few years and you can actually divide them is all that you do is in the spring or late in the fall, dig them up, separate them and replant them and they are really easy to divide. In terms of where to put them, I like to have the bigger ones at the back of the border, clump them in masses so that you really get a nice view of the color and as you can see from our daylily patch here, we just have this amazing array of colors and some are also what we call double bloomers. The petals are actually double instead of single. The other really neat thing about daylilies these days is that some of them have really, really cool names like Luxury Madness. That's a beautiful double bloomer. And then you have names like Hot Embers. And you also have fun names as well like Pastel Classic. And then you have names like Gen Melon. So there's lots of different names of these daylilies. Here's another cool one that I really like. It's called Chesapeake Crab Legs. And you really get the idea of why it's called that. Look at the great orange color on this plant. They really do look like a bunch of crab legs hanging down. So there is definitely a daylily for you. Come back often to growingwisdom.com for more of our tips every week.